and we're going to talk to Dr. Kid about kids. Um, so we're going to, I really that would encourage pun, you, it, it was, yes. kids is kiddies. <laughs> <laughs> I would really encourage you to watch the video we did with Dr. Kid on general information about supplements because it will fill in a lot of the blanks. But I want to talk to you about some specific information about kids. People ask me all the time, what can I give my kids? How much? That kind of stuff. I know with my daughter, I gave her the basics, but I want to hear from the expert what you think the basics are, um, for kids. Well, and how early can you start? Yeah. Uh, kids need all of the vitamins and essential minerals that we need. So multi. Yeah, yeah. A multiple vitamin and mineral. And we have one of the uh, best. That's not loaded with vitamins. sugar. No, yeah. we have a chewable right. that I actually use on my desk. Don't listen to this. For candy in the afternoon. <laughs> So I I'm don't like, think there's even though it has no sugar in it. Thing can we, that will even though it's sugar free, you still like it. But people they can give this to their kids as candy. Yeah. Don't don't do that. But the don't kids, but the kids Neurovite. While I was it working on so it, tastes so good. While I was working on it, I got this call from from Dr. Amen from from Daniel. And he says, Paris, you've got to do better than this. And I go, Why? What's up? He says, Well, the the flavoring has maltodextrin in it, and we can't have that. We don't want to have any of those sugary things in our products. So I said, okay, Daniel, and I had to go and redesign the flavoring so that the kids' Neurovite has zero sugars. Which is and, which is actually unusual. And it still tastes incredible. Yeah, so go to the unusual. big box store with the kids. Both it's, and it's food like dye? Food dyes, sugar, right. it's um, crazy. corn it's syrup. Unusual they're for, trying to kill these crazy. kids. It's very unusual for any supplements produced by anyone and very unusual for foods. And I mean, but BrainMD does things differently. So even our beautiful tasting chocolates don't have sugar added yeah. to them. So Love it. kids can okay, eat so, the chocolate. So multivitamin, yeah. um, vitamin D is already in that. Yeah, or would you yeah, add the vitamin omega D? Omega-3s, don't forget, the omega-3s. Oh, so. and, and the the 12 to 15% of American kids who have some sort of issue with attention or learning or behavior or whatever, all can benefit from omega-3 okay. supplements. So, so we have we can offer them the omega three power if they're willing to take uh, a capsule, or we have this product called Coromega, which which they can just squeeze out of a pack and put into a liquid. And well, and those are good for traveling. So my daughter yeah. would rather take the pills, and she started because she just doesn't yeah. want to have to mess with the pudding. Yeah. But when we traveled, it was really easy to take that because it wasn't a big thing of. Right. Of oil, I could just take little pudding packs with us. Right, and, and the, individual. the kids' Neurovite supplies actually uh, quite a lot of vitamin D. Mm -hmm. But if they want to give more, then then they can easy, either use our five thousand IU and give them one every two or three days or so. And uh, I think it's important, even with kids, to test their level. Yeah, absolutely. Because when I yeah. found my level was seventeen. I've been obsessed with it ever since. Yeah. When you know the number, then you know if you should do something or you don't need to do something. And then what about probiotics? Uh, well, well, if their kids have specific issues uh, that involve their their GI system, if if they know that the child is not is not doing well with going to the bathroom and stuff like that, then a probiotic would be appropriate. Or if the kid has been taking a lot of antibiotics over the years, or if they just want to give them a probiotic supplement. But as I said in another segment that we did, it's very important to ask the supplier, do you have clinical studies with the strains of bacteria that you want me to buy for my child? Do you actually have clinical studies that show that these work for children? So and there are, by the way, lots of clinical studies. Unfortunately, many of the strains that are being offered are not the ones that the clinical studies were done on. Okay. So if, let's just say, because I, I know we make a really good probiotic, but it comes in a capsule, and if your child is too young to swallow a capsule, can it be opened up and put into yes. a smoothie? Yes, okay. and that applies to any of the supplements. So what I did with my daughter when she was too young to swallow pills, I either mixed it into a little, like I created a little like avocado pudding um, type right. thing, or right. I would make her a small smoothie, small enough that right. she would drink the whole thing, yeah. and I would put all of the supplements in there. Right. So that's just one tip for you, and I wanted to make sure that our right. probiotic could be opened. Right. And, and I so would also poke a hole in the vitamin D. Right, exactly. This this is all very good. This is very good. And some people ask, well, do I have to take my supplements separately or what? And the, the, the answer is that supplements are not pharmaceuticals. And, okay. and supplements work in such a way that you can take them all together. The only distinction is that the the vast majority of supplements are meant to be taken with a meal. There are just a couple like our Neuralink and serotonin mood support that are better taken on an empty stomach. Oh, okay. Good to know. Um, but just a few. 
And there's no need ever to have a high fat meal when you take supplements because uh, the, the liver makes bile which is our biological oh, so emulsifier myth. and fat dispersant. And the bile disperses all of the nutrients and optimizes their absorption. Okay, so just putting it in a smoothie for a kid is enough. Yeah, yeah. bile is the, is the best fat that we have. It's our biological... Well, there's another story to that. But anyway, there are fatty type substances that are actually very healthy for us. And bile takes care of that. Perfect. So we don't need to worry about fatty meals and all of that. Awesome. I, I mean, I just think this is so helpful to know... With kids, and I, and I still, when my daughter went into kindergarten, I got her blood test done and found out what her, I added vitamin D to it, because I'm sneaky that way, um, so that I would know if I was right. on target with, with what she was getting, right. whether I needed to add or decrease or whatever. Right. Now, you know, I, I go to, to my friends' homes and I see them with, you know, like a calcium product or, or mm. this or I know, that, that's okay? that good, and they right? don't have a good multiple vitamin right. mineral, and they don't have a decent vitamin D, and they don't have omega-3s, and yet those are the core right. of our health you know the way our cells function requires that core program yes. you know the multiple the omega-3s and the vitamin d and so you can go out and you can buy stuff because somebody tells you to buy it but if you're not getting those three then your health is not guaranteed I agree yeah. so what do you do with a child that is difficult i mean we see so many oppositional deviant disorder kids and they're also very sensitive to taste, mm -hmm. and they refuse to take them. Right. Well, you you slip the supplements into sneaky. some something that they like. Yeah, whether, you don't ask them. You, well, well, but I mean, but you can you can ne negotiate with them and get it into. A but you're meal. nicer than I am. I'm just get like sneaky. Well, if they're oppositional, though, I've actually met oppositional kids. They did a study on them once a long time ago, and they actually responded to omega threes. By the way, oppositional kids in, in our hands and to PS phosphatidylserine. But anyway, so you slip the supplements you know, we into have some vehicle that they would Right. Should, I just made right. something really and, tasty and, studies, and didn't say anything. Yeah. There are studies with phosphatidylserine or PS, and we have our own standard alone P.S. You actually were involved in bringing that to the United States. Right. Just call me Dr. P.S. Dr. <laughs> P.S. So why, why was that? Why were you excited about that? Because there were so many clinical trials on it uh, already from the 1980s. There were clinical trials with phosphatidylserine. And then uh, clinical trials continue to, to be done. And it has a consistent... And the trials uh, were done in Israel? Uh, no, uh, Europe, a few trials in Israel, um, but all over Europe, in the United States, um, other places. So have you heard this before? I just heard it yesterday and it really irritated me. Um, well, are there any trials in the U.S.? Um, yeah, there are a lot there of are saffron trials. trials are in Iran. And why does that? Um, and, and I'm like, you know, that was just the most racist thing right, why does yeah. that you could I'm ever yeah, say. They're, they're, they're actually saffron trials from, reputable... from Greece. And um, actually, this arguably the single best trial on PS was done in the United States at Vanderbilt by my deceased, now, now deceased friend and colleague, Thomas Crook, a beautifully designed trial on memory. And then he did another trial on people with catastrophic memory loss, right. which for regulatory reasons, I'm not allowed to talk about. But um, so we have American trials on, on PS and we have trials all over the world. And it so is it the best documented nutrient for memory, memory, but it's also very good for attention and learning Focus, yeah learning and and, it'll and also what help dose with behavior. for kids would you start um with? kids actually need more proportionally than than adults do kids little kids need about 200 milligrams okay. and bigger kids need 300 okay. and, and the I, adult and dose I, is typically and i take 600 wow i, I take 600 that because so i know smart? it's safe i'm trying <laughs> i'm working on it daniel i'm working on it i need all well, the help I can we get. hope this is so helpful yeah. really helpful for you yeah. um S supplements can really, as Dr. Kidd say, give you insurance. Uh, they can help optimize brain function. We've seen it. I published a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled crossover trial showing that brain and body power increased memory um, and focus. Uh, we're excited about this, not because it's our business, it's our business because we right. love it and we know it has the potential to be helpful to you. So start with the brain health assessment. Learn as much as you can. Go on um, scientific sites like pub, pubmed.com from the National Library of Medicine. Yourself, right. um, there, there is more science uh, that will really excite you that these things have the potential to help you.